let me get the uh, rotation on there so I can show a little better. So now if I click on the rotation here, I should be able to snap it. There we go. Now you can see how the snap works. It's snapping to that point right there and to this point over here. Control Z to get back. I'm going to take off the animated so both of them aren't on. Select position. All right. Now this uh, magnifying glass here with the arrows, this uh, adjusts the height and it auto zooms on your graph based on the height of the graph. So remember when I was using the hand to scroll? Well, and it was automatically adjusting. If I turn this off, and I'll zoom in, now I can scroll around and it doesn't automatically adjust. So that might be handy. It's a, uh, it's good for seeing like the uh, graph in relative because sometimes when it automatically zooms in, you kind of lose track of where you are. So I'm gonna put that back on because it's on by default. I'm gonna zoom back out. The next button over here, it's a uh, grayed out right now. It's called um, the. Uh, pit selection to view so if I select some points here I'll select those two points that one's unselected and now it's uh, available to click on so I can click on it and it puts those points in the view let's uh, get back out there we go the uh, next one here is the uh, fit all graphs to view so I, I will uh, add the other graph again and let's get it let's move this point way way out here now that point is out of view so if I hit this now it's going to bring everything in view so let me move that back this uh, right here is the separate coordinates so I'll click on that for you and now you get your X position, Y position, and your rotation. So if you had scale, it would do um, the different scales, the height and the width. That would show up. So that's how you, you can animate those individually. Let's turn that back off. Looks like it changed my uh, keyframes when I did that also. So I'll turn those back on to what they were. If you don't remember how to do that, you can check out the keyframe velocity tutorial on how to change your keyframes. So the next button over is the uh, keyframe menu and where you can uh, do your uh, keyframe editing here. Go back. I just clicked off. The next one over, this is the hold keyframe button. So if I click on that, and wanted to make it a hold keyframe. You can say it changes. We haven't gone over hold keyframes, but that's how that works. You can change it to a linear keyframe. And this one is the auto bezier, bezier keyframe. The next buttons are your easy ease buttons. So if I wanted to make this an easy ease key, so you can see how it changes and it is also an easy ace key keyframe now and this is the easy ease in and this is the easy ease out button so if I want to change this back to what it was I'll click on the linear so that's how you get out of the easy ease also and uh, that's it for the buttons for now um, we'll, we'll be going over how to edit these uh, points and what these handles mean and all that stuff in the second part of the tutorial. So hope to see you guys there and have a good one.